Hey, welcome back my friends to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy and in this video we are going to look at a, a grounding plate. So I hope that we're able to see it. It's um, kind of an awkward thing to try to show you on camera, but I do want to show you what it looks like on our website. So this, this product here is Paige's grounding plate. It's four inches by um, 96 inches, which is eight feet long. And I've got the box right here. So we're going to let me get it in camera here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Let me make a little bit of room on my desk here. And this is exactly how it comes to you. So if you're ordering this, this is literally the box. Um, here's the label. Got a, little, got a little water damage on it. That's okay. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna take this out and we're gonna set it on the desktop. I did wanna show you the box, but I also wanna try to get it out of here. Boom, so you can see it. Look at that. That is fancy. So we've got it's um, zip tied together, because of course we don't wanna, we do not wanna un unroll it. And it comes with 25 feet of number six copper wire that you will either attach to your irrigation controller um, or perhaps your, your lightning arrester on your two wire system. If, um, let's flip back around. If that's what you're using this for. So let's go ahead and give you the, the money shot. Nice solid piece of copper. Grounding irrigation control systems that are higher end central control systems is very, very important. And the job of a grounding system is being off ramp for a surge event. So uh, grounding plates are popular where the soil is um, uh, tougher, where it's hard to drive a, an eight foot ground rod or even a shorter ground rod into the ground. You can uh, dig a trench and you can put this grounding plate in at a shallower depth instead of ground, instead of driving a ground rod in. And sometimes you can use either one or two grounding plates to try to get that ohms of resistance. So on typically on commercial irrigation systems, you're looking for anywhere from 25 ohms or less to 15 ohms or less to 10 ohms or less. And so that's where the, that's where, where the plate is going to come in. If you've used a ground rod and you're not getting the resistance that you're looking for, you can add another ground rod or you can add a ground plate like this and you can uh, cover it with something called a per set um, material that will help um, create that resistance that you're looking for to meet specification and be that off ramp. Uh, for for the surge event and again it's important to remember that you don't want to put this right next to your irrigation controller if you were to put this right next to the controller that surge could come off of the plate go right back in and up to the controller and if you're installing this on a two wire system the same thing is true you want to place this grounding plate eight feet away from your two wire path so that that surge event doesn't come off the two wire onto the grounding plate and come right back onto your two wire path. You wanna make sure there's the appropriate sphere of influence from this grounding plate um, and, your, and your wire path. So it's not often that, uh, that we have these available to show you on video. So I thought it was appropriate to take this out of the box and show you what it looks like. And um, yeah, of course I can't give you the actual installation, but you know, this is the this is the size of the product. It's not particularly heavy, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions about grounding your system, don't hesitate to reach out. We have a lot of experience on our team with myself on grounding commercial irrigation systems, and happy to answer any questions that you might have, or even show you how to test uh, an existing system if that's what you're if that's what you're looking to do to maybe meet a specification. So, hope that helps kind of show you what the page. Uh, uh, eight foot ground plate looks like. And if we can answer any of your other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, and you can even text our corporate number now. I'd be happy to help you out. So until the next product overview, happy sprinkling, my friends. We'll talk to you then.